Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about battery health. So if you're not familiar with this idea, basically what happens is, over time as you keep on recharging your computer again and again and using it a lot, etc., over time what will happen is the battery will actually start to be able to hold less charge than it could when you first bought your computer. So after you've recharged your computer 300 or 400 times, it might only be able to hold like 80% of how much it could hold uh, when you bought it, and you'll notice this because you'll have to start recharging your computer more often and stuff like that. And if you have an older MacBook or um, something like that, you actually will be able to replace the battery, just buy a new one. Uh, but if you have one of the more recent models of uh, Apple laptops, you simply can't replace the battery. You'd have to take it to the Apple store, have them replace it over the course of a couple days, and then give it back to you. Um, so this is kind of a pain. And because of that, I'm going to be giving you a couple tips on how to keep your battery as healthy as possible over as long a time as possible. Now obviously no matter what you do your battery will lose health eventually um, but it's a matter of how fast it loses health and how, how well you maintain it to keep it uh, healthy for as long as possible. Now the most important uh, tip I can give and a lot of other uh, ideas branch off from this is to prevent your battery from overheating. So if you've noticed maybe, uh, you probably have, when you leave your laptop plugged in for two or three hours to let it charge up all the way, um, it will actually get very hot, especially around where the charger plugs into the side of the computer. Uh, and this basically means that the battery is uh, getting pretty hot. It's probably above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's just not good for the battery. And you want to try to keep your battery as close to room temperature as possible for chemistry reasons, which I can't explain to you, but it just so happens that that's how it works. Uh, so one of the ways to prevent your battery from overheating is to not charge your computer and discharge your computer all the way because your battery heats up over time as it charges. So if you let your computer only discharge to like 20 or 30 percent, then you charge it up to like 70 percent and then let it charge down to 30 and then charge it up to 70, it'll actually be better for the battery um, because the battery won't overheat as much. Uh, now you might be saying, uh, well that makes no sense or something like that because um, there's a lot of ideas in the air that if you discharge your battery all the way and then charge it up all the way that's actually the best thing for your battery and that would be good if you had something like a nickel cadmium battery where there's something called a memory issue where if you don't discharge the battery all the way and then recharge it all the way uh, the battery will start to not have as much uh, accuracy in reporting how much charge it has but lithium-ion batteries don't have that same issue, to as, as far an extent at least. Uh, and because of that, for a lithium-ion battery like the one in your Mac, you really do only want to uh, charge it up to 70 or 80. Um, and there's no reason to charge it all the way, unless you want to actually utilize it. Like if you want to take your computer out for five hours and your battery lasts five hours, then you're going to want to charge it up all the way. But if you don't have to, don't do it. Uh, the other thing to prevent your battery from overheating is to just not leave it plugged in all the time. Now, leaving your computer plugged in all the time is bad for numerous reasons. Um, uh, first off, like <clears throat> if you just have a bunch of charge sitting in your battery for a long time, uh, that's not good for your battery. But also, it does cause your, your laptop to get hot, the battery to overheat, and that's bad for the chemical process in a battery. Um, so those are just some tips, uh, quick tips, on how to basically maintain your battery as much as possible um, beyond that, there's not really much you can do, but now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to check how healthy your battery actually is. So if we go on over and you go into Spotlight right up here in the top right hand corner and you type Terminal and hit Enter, uh, a terminal window will pop up and all you have to type is IOReg space dash L space and then a vertical bar that's just shift backslash space grep dash I capacity hit enter and wait a couple seconds and now here's a ton of specs about your battery which will just get dumped right out. So at the top here you can see this thing it says max capacity and there's a number next to it and I'll explain what unit this is in a second and then you have your design capacity here and here's another number. Now to figure out the percentage um, that your battery is in terms of battery health all you have to do is take the max capacity and divide it by the design capacity. And the max capacity is the current capacity of your battery, the design capacity is the capacity it's supposedly shipped with. Uh, but if I just do this calculation real quick, I'd be doing 7967, sorry, uh, 7967 over 
8460. And so that's about 94% is how healthy um, my battery is. And if you look here, it says cycle count. Um, what this basically means is I've charged my computer 306, uh, 356 times. Um, so I've gone through 356 charge cycles. I've lost like 6% of my battery's capacity. That's actually pretty, that's pretty decent. That's a good uh, number. It could be better, um, but I also don't follow my own rules. Like I don't always charge my computer up only to 70. I usually forget and let it charge up all the way. But I, I have a feeling that if I followed my own guidelines more strictly, I would actually have uh, better battery health, but I don't really do that because it's it's not even, I don't even think it's that worth it. But um, you can you can see how, how healthy your battery is and how well you take care of it and etc. Um, but now let me just explain to you what unit these are. So this unit here, uh, the design capacity and the max capacity are measured in milliamp hours. Now a milliamp hour just means if your computer is drawing a milliamp of current, um, it'll last that many hours. Uh, now the usual amount of current that a MacBook will draw is between one and two amps. Um, that's a thousand, that's like between 1000 and 2000 milliamps. So if I took my uh, capacity here, or let's take my design capacity, 8460, and if I divided it by 1500, let's say, that would be 1.5 amps, I would get 5.64 hours, which is a pretty decent time uh, on this model. And I don't remember Apple's exact projections. Maybe it was closer to if you used 1.3 milliamps, that'd be like 6.5 hours. Um, but that's a quick way to calculate maybe how much time it would take based on your max capacity to completely discharge your computer. And of course the amperage, uh, the average amount of amps that an average user will use depends on what they use their computer for, what kind of computer they have, uh, how they use it, etc. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you figure out how healthy your uh, laptop is and uh, your battery in your laptop is and uh, how you can try to keep it healthier. So I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and goodbye.